What is up? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a little too extreme. Let's redo the intro. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Hopefully your quarantine is still going all right. Mine's not going too bad. Thank you very much for asking. Now, I have a very interesting story about essentially the U.S. military. They're they're receiving kind of a contradiction in terms of policies where the president is saying one thing, but yet they may be being said something else. And so I'm going to talk to you guys today about the military's account of what's going on. Essentially, it's from the Military Times, which is the military's independent media outlet. So that's kind of what I want to touch on. But before I get into that, let's get into a really quick background, like give, give, give a little context as to what's going on. Okay, so Iran military vessels, which is essentially, it's kind of a nice way of saying like tiny Iranian ships with mounted automatic weapons on the very top. Like, for example, you see in places like Somalia, like mounted um, automatic weapons in the backs of like trucks. Well, that's the same thing, but essentially this is like the boat equivalent. Now, there was 11 Iranian vessels approaching six U.S. military ships while they were conducting integration operations with army helicopters and international waters in the Gulf. So essentially what that means is the U.S. military was conducting an operation and then the Iranian vessels, 11 to be exact, were circulating around these ships and they came as close as 10 yards away. And the last incident, because there's multiple, the last one lasted about an hour. So it is pretty substantial is what I'm trying to say. Now... That's the idea. And then so the U.S. Navy blasted their horns on their ship, which is the loudest freaking shit ever. Let me just tell you. So they're blasting this. And then they also have this type of technology, which blasts different types of frequency sounds as well. And those are, I mean, those will blast the soul through you to give you an idea on how loud these things really are. Okay. So that's what they were doing. And then eventually the vessels, uh, they went away. That's it. Okay. Now, that's where the story kind of picks up from there. So here is what the Military Times was referencing. This was a tweet by President Trump, and this is kind of where the story takes off from this point onwards. So here is the quote by President Trump on Twitter. Quote, I have instructed the United States Navy to shoot down and destroy any and all Iranian gunboats if they harass our ships at sea. Now, the Military Times continued by saying, quote, Two senior defense officials who briefed reporters on Wednesday could not confirm whether the tweet amounted to a direct order to commanding officers in the Gulf. So I'm going to stop right there just for half a second. So they don't know if that that was a tweet just warning everybody that this could happen or if this is something that they should in fact follow. That's what it's saying. So let's continue on to what the Military Times is saying. So they have a quote which says, The president issued an important warning to the Iranians. Deputy Defense Secretary David Narkist? Narquist, something like that. Narquist said, another quote, what he was emphasizing is all of our ships retain the right to self-defense. So the Military Times, they didn't say too much more after this, although I think we kind of get the point here. Um, it's It was just kind of a little interesting blurb that I thought you guys might kind of appreciate just because it was one of those situations where there's like an inherent contradiction where there's something being said, but it's not adequately communicated towards another you know, branch of the government. In this case, it's the U S Navy. So the question that we also have is like, what do we expect from this situation onwards? Well, okay. So the use of these types of vessels isn't necessarily uncommon. These are things that were used during the cold war as well. And so it's, it's not like this is like a, a something that we haven't run into, especially with the Iranians. Now, generally what happens from this point onwards is if the U S military, specifically the Navy, if they're feeling particularly, I would say a little bit more threatened than usual, what they would do is they'll fire a warning shot and that lets them know, well, I mean, it's pretty universal, right? You fire a warning shot, you get the F out of my face where you're going to get shot. Now we didn't get to that point, which is fortunate. So that means they didn't feel that the threat was too severe based off of their actions in response to that. So that's good. If there's a warning shot, that's where things will start to pick up clearly. I wouldn't play a game with chicken with the U.S. military, but the U.S. military also should not be off the freaking coast of Iran right now. Like Iran's response literally is, and I'm paraphrasing this, but like giving you guys a little summarized version, but they literally said, shouldn't you guys be concerned about keeping your military personnel safe from coronavirus? That's (laughs) the sources are in the description box below. They said that as a response to the U.S. moving their ships closer. I mean, that's a good that's a good response. There's COVID everywhere throughout the military, specifically the Navy uh, ships right now. So, I mean, that's fair. But anyway, 
I guess in the situation like this, we should really ask ourselves, should the president be briefing the U.S. military in this sense, or should he be listening to the military and then backing them up publicly? Because right now there's kind of a contradiction, and that adds to a bit of a cluster, especially when you're about ready to have a fight to the death. Anyway, thought you guys would appreciate that. Peace out.